Hello everyone, in a previous video I show you how to debug a console application in Java using Visual Studio Code and in this video I will show you how to debug a user interface in Java using Visual Studio Code. So here I have this class which is of type gframe and it contains this string array. So this string array is just initialized into uh, in the init method and it is initialized with three values. Also in this window, I will just add this level and this button. And when the user uh, clicks on this button, the application will execute this method. So this method is just implemented here. It allows to print this text and also it will read one value among the different values of this string array. It will also increase the value of this index. And if this index is higher than the array length, it will be initialized to zero. And finally, we will show the current value into this level. So let's run this application in debug mode. I will make a right click, then debug Java. So in this window, I will just click on next user and I can see here the first value of the string array. If I click next user again, this is the second value. If I click a third time, I will see the third value. So now I expect when I click on user, I expect to see the first value again. So let's do this. And as you can see, we have an exception here. So if we go to the beginning of this exception, we can see that this is an array index out of bounds exception. And the error occurs at line 40. So this is the line that caused the exception. So let's go to this line, which is this one. And this is the line that causes the exception. So what I will do is to add a breakpoint here to see what it is happening here. So let's add this breakpoint. And now let's go to the application and let's click on this button again. So now the application is just stopped at this breakpoint and this line is not executed yet. When I click on this button, which is step over, I will execute this line so for the moment what i have i have the index called next user uh, it has the value of three and i have this string array which contains three values so string array contains three values indexed from zero to two this means that i cannot access users of three i can access users of zero of one and of two not users of three. So this is the cause of the error. So here, next user should not have the value three. So the maximum value of next user should be two. So let's decrease the value of next user and see why it reached the value three. So to modify the value of next user, we can go to debug console. And here I will just type next, next user. And here I will hit enter and as you can see the value is currently 3 so I will say next user equal to 2 now I will go back to the terminal and I will click on step over uh, to go to the next statement so this time I don't have the error and here what will happen is that the value of next user will be increased so let's click on step over and now this value is equal to three and it should be initialized so we need to see why it has not been initialized the answer is because we say strictly higher so we need to modify this so i will modify this and say strictly higher or equal now, because I modified this code, I need to click on this button, which means hot code replace, which means that we will apply the modification. So let's click on this. And when I click on this, I have this problem. This is because I did not save the file. So let's save the file and let's click on this button again. So when I click it on this button, the cursor goes to the first line of this method and let's click on step over to see what will happen. 
so here next user is equal to three of course i will have the exception so i will go back to debug console and i will modify the value again and set it to two now let's go to the terminal and let's click on this button step over again so i don't have exception because the value of two is valid and now let's click on step over again so the value of next user is three and it should be initialized so if i click on step over we will initialize this uh, next user to zero so let's click on step over again so the value of next user has been initialized to zero as we can see if i put the cursor here i can see that the current value is zero so let's click on continue to go to the next breakpoint and because we don't have another breakpoint we will wait for the user uh, event so let's click on this this means that now the user is allowed to use the, this interface and when we click on next user we will go to the next breakpoint but now i think that i don't have the, the problem anymore so i will remove this breakpoint and I will go to my window and I will click on next user, then next again, then next again. And as you can see this time, I don't have the error anymore. So in this video, I show you how we can debug a user interface using Java and Visual Studio Code. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the channel.